So the Google Classroom app on your device is going to allow you to make some changes to the various settings of your Google Classroom. So let's take a look at what that's going to look like. I'm going to jump into my classroom here, I'll launch the app, and I'm already in a classroom right away. So what I want to do, not the menu at the side this time, I actually need the gear icon over there in the top corner. I'm going to tap on that to get to my various settings. Now there's some simple stuff here like changing the title. I could hit the little pencil there and I can go ahead and change the title of this if I needed to. I could change my class description, the subject area, all that kind of simple info that we see at the top of our classroom generally. Well, I don't really need to change that. That's not the point of jumping into here and probably not something you just change in the moment on your device. Um, I could certainly update the classroom code if I needed to change that, if for some reason the, the code was being used by people that I didn't want joining the classroom. But most likely here, the class settings is what you're going to be jumping in here to actually use. So the class settings give me the option here to adjust the stream posting. So that means how can or can they at all students post on the stream. So when I tap that option, I can see the three choices. My students can post and comment, the students can only comment, or only teachers can post or comment. So if you're in the classroom, of course, and you want to make those changes, you can do it right on your laptop. But if you, for some reason, were away from the classroom, maybe there's a supply teacher there, and your students are using this as a back channel for chatting, you might decide to knock them back to comment only, or I can tap that again, of course, and I can say only teachers can post on the stream. And that's something that I can change at any time. So I could shut them down for the day, and when I return the following day, I could turn that back on again. The other option down here, just to touch on it, is class work on the stream. These are your notifications. So are you going to get notifications for everything that shows up on the uh, stream, or do you just want condensed notifications where everything kind of gets, well, compressed into one notification? Or do I want to possibly hide those notifications? So I do have some of those choices here as well. The big one, though, I think is probably the stream posting options that you can change very quickly, very easily, right from your phone, at any time, from anywhere. So. Google Classroom on your phone. A very nice quick option for changing things when you need to.